a squared plus a b plus b squared equal to 81 a b are integers and we want to find a plus b so in first part for example if we replace we can find one obvious answer that a equal to 9 b 0 or you can consider a 0 b 9 in some of them a plus b for example, we found one case is 9 but we should see that do we have any other answer so here we can say it is a quadratic equation in terms of a means what a squared plus a b plus b squared minus 81 equal to 0 now we can apply quadratic formula. So let me write quadratic formula here. If you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if you apply it here, a equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times 1 times, it is a quadratic equation in terms of a b squared minus 81 over 2a, which is 2 times 1. Now, if we simplify, it will be negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4b squared negative 3b squared minus 4 times negative 81 plus 324. All over 2. Now, let me erase this part. So, because a and b are integers, we should see that for what b it is integer. So we can say negative 3b squared plus or 324 minus 3b squared should be perfect to square. So it can be 324, 18 squared, and 324, we will see it is multiple of 3 right because 5 plus sum of digits equal to 9 so if it is perfect square it should be perfect square or multiple of 3 18 is squared the next one 15 is squared 2 to 5 the next one is so let's check for example first case so in this case b equal to 0 now for next one let me write good b's here for this one 225. So b squared equal to 324 minus 6, 75, 75, 95, 99 over 3, which is 33. It's not good. So let's erase. We've checked 18 squared, 15 squared. Then we should check 12 squared, which is 144, and uh, next one, 9 squared, which is 81. So in this case, b squared is this minus this over 3. It's 0, 12 minus 4, 8, and it is 180. So, 180 over 360 is not perfect square for this one. B squared equal to 4 minus 1, 3, 12 minus 8, 4, 2, this over 3, which is 81. So, again, it's good if we consider... Uh, b equal to 9 plus minus 9. Again, we've reached a good thing. Okay. So. Let's consider other cases. 81, we've checked 9. Square 6 is square 36. 3 squared 9. And 0 squared is 0. So 0 is not good. It's good. Yes, it's good. Because then. Let, let's see. If it is 0, then b squared is 324 over 3, which is 1, 0, 8. No, it's not good. For 36, b squared is 324 minus 36, 14. Minus 6 is 8. 1, 11 minus 3 is 8. 288 over 3, which will be 96. It's not good. And this case, b squared equal to 324 minus 9. Which will be 315 over 3, which is 105. So we don't, we couldn't find any other perfect square. Now we should only check b0 and b plus minus 9. So let's replace in main equation. If b is 0, then a squared is 81. So a is 
plus minus 9. So in this case, a plus b can be 9 and negative 9. Now, let's check b9 and then b negative 9. If b is 9, then a squared plus 9a plus 81 equal to 81. Okay, if you subtract 81 from both sides, a squared plus 9a equal to 0, so a times a plus 9 equal to 0. So a can be 0 or negative 9. Okay, so if zero, a 0 be 9, the sum is 9. We ha we've calculated that before. 9, negative 9, 0. We've considered this. If b equal to negative 9, then a squared minus 9a plus 81 equal to 81. So a squared minus, if you subtract 81 from both sides, equal to 0. So a times a minus 9 equal to 0. So a can be 0 or 9. If a is 0, a plus b is negative 9. We've calculated if a is 9, a plus b is 0. So we've calculated all the cases and we found three answers for a plus b. If you had questions, send message to my WhatsApp number. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.